I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Great Atlantic Resources has received gold assays and multi-element analyses for drill core samples from the first five holes of the 2021 Diamond Drilling Program at its KeyMet Base Metal Precious Metal Project located in New Brunswick. The 100% owned 3,400 hectare property located approximately 20 kilometers northwest of Bathurst in northeastern New Brunswick, Canada, has excellent access with paved roads including a provincial highway transecting the property. The 10-hole 2,061-meter drilling program tested numerous target areas of polymetallic veins, untested electromagnetic geophysical anomalies, and areas of gold mineralization in the northwest region of the property. Highlights from these first five holes include a new gold discovery, the Debler Zone, in drill hole 25, including 3.17 grams per ton gold over 0 0.70 meters core length and polymetallic veins in hole 27 at the Elm Tree 12 zone, including 7.02% zinc equivalent over 0.92 meters. The hole numbering has been continued from previous drill programs. Drill hole 23 tested the area immediately east of a historic shaft at the Elm Tree Silver Mine mineral occurrence. In 2015, hole KY-151 was drilled from the same site but to the southwest under the shaft. It intersected a narrow interval of sulfide bearing veins of which a 0.51 meter core length sample returned 9.53% zinc, 9.01% lead, 0.4 8% copper and 66 grams per ton silver or 16.82% zinc equivalent. Additional drilling is required to determine if the vein systems intersected in KY-151 and KY-2123 correlate. Drill hole 24 tested an electromagnetic anomaly. A 0.31 meter core length sample with sulfide stringers clusters returned anomalous values of 1.74% zinc, 1.52% lead, 0.344% copper and 3.6 grams per ton silver. Drill hole 25 tested the area of a gold bearing outcrop where a 2015 grab sample collected by Great Atlantic from the outcrop returned 1.14 grams per ton gold. The hole intersected two gold bearing intervals representing new discoveries which returned 1.53 grams per ton gold over 0.63 meters and 3.17 grams per ton gold over 0.70 meters. Drill hole 26 which tested an area of polymetallic veins and gold bearing bedrock discovered by the company during 2015 and 2017 was collared approximately 30 meters north of a 2017 drill hole which intersected 18.8% zinc, 3.55% copper, 1.16% lead and 576 grams per ton silver or 38.1% zinc equivalent over a 1.27 meter core length and a 2 2015 trench from which channel samples graded 1.11 grams per ton gold over 4.9 meters cumulative length. Drill hole 27, a definition hole, intersected the Elm Tree 12 vein system. A 0.92 meter core length sample returned 3.5% zinc, 3.26% lead, 0.36% copper, and 48.8 grams per ton silver or 7.02% zinc equivalent. This confirms the mineralized vein system is open at depth in this part of the zone. Great Atlantic Diamond Drilling during 2015, 2017 and 2018 at the Elm Tree 12 polymetallic vein system intersected high-grade silver, copper and zinc mineralization in veins within a north-south trending sub-vertical system. Highlights include 9, 12 and 16 percent zinc, 7 and 9 percent copper and 478 and 1,158 grams per ton silver. A previously discovered boulder from a float sample from 2011 returned 51 grams per ton gold. Channel samples from a gold bearing zone exposed in a 2012 trench averaged 1.09 grams per ton gold over 11.78 meters. The KeyMet property hosts the historic KeyMet mine located in the northwest region of the property. The KeyMet mine operated during the mid 1950s producing copper, lead, zinc and silver before production was terminated in 1956 due to a fire at the site. Reported production at the KeyMet mine during 1954 to 
1956 was 59,000 tons, averaging 2.59% zinc, 2.44% lead, 0.25% copper, and 33.94 grams per ton silver. Great Atlantic, with a number of properties in the Atlantic provinces, is utilizing a project generation model with a special focus on critical elements which are prominent in Atlantic Canada, such as antimony, tungsten and gold. The shares are trading at 21 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, greatatlanticresources.com, contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO at 604-488-3900 or email on office at greatatlanticresources.com. For investor relations, contact Andrew Job at 416-628-1560 or by email at ir at greatatlanticresources.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.